You dudes worshiping Dan Pena. Y'all think that Alex Harmozy is your God and he's not. You think that Dan Henry can save you. You think that Billie Jean is marketing, can teach you how to get rich and get wealthy. But the scripture says that God will give you the power to get wealthy. So why am I always talking about scriptures? Because it gives me power. He says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracle's God, not by your own tongue. You're not supposed to be listening to these so-called gurus. He said, woe to the man to take counsel of men, but not of him. And this is why a lot of people are struggling financially because they think that these gurus can save them. I'm not a guru. I don't speak myself. I use the principles of God the same way that companies like Uber, Airbnb, and all of those top uh, Amazon companies do. So Patrick Bet David, he's awesome and everything, but he can't save you either. No man can make you rich. Only God I can. OK, and I'm going to keep bringing it up because James one and five says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally. So if you go to the Bible is principles in the scriptures that the top people like Bill Gates and all of these guys, the ones that are richest in the world, they use these principles uh, in the Bible, whether they believe in God or not. They know that the wisdom comes from the Bible. You don't see Bill Gates, Elon Musk or any of these guys in here subscribed and looking at YouTubers trying to figure out how to get rich. They knew exactly what to do, where to get the wisdom and the knowledge from. They get it from the scriptures right here. OK, and you don't have to listen to me, but at least listen to God, because he says to uh, hear counsel and receive instruction. And in the ear, Proverbs 19 to 20 says to hear counsel, receive instruction that thou may be wise at the latter end. So if you don't want your businesses bankrupt, your personal life bankrupt, bad credit, you're struggling and all of that, you need to hear wise counsel. People that think they could do it on their own or they'll figure it out eventually. I fell down that trap and it took forever for me to figure this type of stuff out. You're going to be watching a million YouTube videos trying to figure out how to get rich to your finger and your eyeballs are jacked the hell up because you're just watching. You're watching other people live and you don't want to do that. God says, don't be a watcher. Don't be a hearer. Be a doer. And if you do that, if you use God's formula to get rich, he will make you rich and wise beyond comprehension the same way that he did with King Solomon. OK, so why do I say that? And nobody will be able to take you down. Uh, um, freaking Jeff Bezos had a divorce a few years back. This dude is the richest man alive right now. And even after his divorce, he was able to gain all that money back. So he made her the richest woman in the world. And then a couple of weeks later, he was back to being the richest man alive again. So when you use God's formula, nobody can really take you down. And let me prove that. It says Luke, Luke chapter 21, verse 15 says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist, meaning he's going to make you so profitable, so wealthy, so successful that no matter who tries to sue you, who tries to, uh, uh, you know, divide your company or vote you out, uh, who divorces you and tries to take half, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be successful and more prosperous than all. OK, so this is why. You want to go ahead and use the principles that are written in the book, in the Bible to get your wealth. This is why we use God, because there's no man that can give me the power to get wealth. <clears throat> You've seen it before. You tried everything. You've done all of these courses. You feel like you got scammed. Sometimes it's really not that. Sometimes God just isn't allowing you to do it because you're trying to do it your way. OK, so you have to do it his way, the scripture way. And that's how you build wealth.